welcome to chapter 7 or number 7 of the Kit Magic Workshop. And today I'm very excited because today is June 14th and it's Chinese Linking Ring Day and we're going to talk about Chinese Linking Rings. And um, I'm so excited because yesterday was the birthday of Di Vernon, the professor who has passed away many years ago. And he created a beautiful linking ring routine called Symphony of the Rings. And I've used that version of the linking rings in my show for many, many years. But anyway, let's talk about linking rings and kind of like where they started in your career and your life. Like for instance, here, I remember well, I don't remember this particular one, but this here is the Johnson Smith Novelty Catalog. And I don't know exactly what year this was, but this actually had the linking rings in it. I'm going to show you the ad here. As you can see right there is the Chinese linking rings. I'm trying to hold this. Help me here. So there is the ad for the Chinese linking rings. And as you can see, Not only did it talk about the link, linking rings and how amazing it was, it actually gave you the instructions. There are the instructions right there of how this trick is done. And on the next page over, they talk about more of the linking rings and how they're done. And if you look right there, you can actually see the prices of the different size linking rings. There they are. This is catalog number four, the Johnson Smith Novelty Catalog. I'm not old enough to remember this version, but I did have a 1973 catalog, and um, they sold a lot of Easy Magic, um, Adam's Magic, and. Um, I remember growing up on Easy Magic. Oh, the Pot of Flowers was one of the first tricks I bought. It was so much fun. And um, this is where the linking rings began for me. And this was in the Easy Magic catalog. And this is the original Easy catalog that I started out with. It was only 50 cents back in the day. It says Easy Magic on it. And down at the bottom, there is the D. Robbins logo. D. Robbins Magic, and when you open the cover, normally the first thing you saw was, whoops, when, the, when you took the cover off, <laughs> this is what you saw. Automatically you saw the billiard balls, then the multiplying rabbits, there's the steel ball and tube. But anyway, um, here is the ad in here for the Chinese linking rings, and you can see the prices there. There you go. You can get a set of five inch rings for like three dollars back in the day. And I remember when I got my first set of linking rings from Adam's Magic. And believe it or not, I still have it. It's right here. Look at that. Adam's Magic, the Chinese linking rings. Isn't that a beautiful box there? Look at that. And when you open the lid, Mucho excitamento. There were your eight magnificent rings, complete with instructions. And had the same picture that was in that <laughs> Johnson Smith novelty catalog. Looked a little bit like this. And of course, it was printed on both sides. There are the instructions for the Chinese linking rings. Now, I'm not going to expose the secret on the linking rings, but it came with a set of eight rings. And you, if you're a magician, you'll know exactly what they are. So, let me share some things with you here. Um, this here is a special award I got. It is the, the special... No, that's not the one. I want to show you this one first. This one here is the special um, 
or yeah, special performance award. And this is from the 1993 Florida State Magic Convention. And this was for my performance of Di Vernon's Symphony of the Rings. Maybe you can read that better than I can. Dun, dun, dun. And anyway, this was the trophy I won for my version of Di Vernon's Symphony of the Rings. <laughs> That's the award company right there if you need to order an award. <laughs> So anyway, this was the second place that I won, and of course, this this big time magician um, won first place, and uh, I could tell you who he is, but his name was Fred Moore, and he was very deserving. But anyway, I won second place to Fred Moore. Woohoo! Second place, man, that's pretty good. Um, but anyway, let's talk about linking rings. Uh, when I started out, I had the five inch rings. Then later on, I went to a another version like this one here. And let me tell you a thing about these linking rings. I'm no expert on the making of linking rings, but these linking rings, uh, I'm going to show you a clip from my award-winning <laughs> linking ring routine. It's only a minute and a half. The actual routine runs three and a half minutes. Um, but anyway, these linking rings here, you notice the metal has a clanking sound. They call them linking rings. Shouldn't they ring like a bell? I think they should. And you link them. Yeah, they clanky. So, anyway, I use this set for years. Then I went to another set, which was larger. Not for sure exactly what size these are, but these are the great big ones here because they're seen better on stage. And one of the problems I had with these is some of the tricks I do, even those, listen to that. <laughs> I don't, they don't ring, they clank. Um, some of the moves I make on my ring routine, um, these were hard to use because these were very, 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 very heavy. And when you do the flower and do all the shapes and all that, they're really hard to work with. Um, so eventually, I got some Proline linking rings. And I tell you, well, I can tell you this about the Proline rings. They're made out of a 3 8 inch round um, aircraft aluminum. I do know that they have a seven step method of creating an invisible. Uh, connection, you know, a uh, weld, because the rings have to be welded together, but they have a seven step process to make an invisible weld. Now, most people that make rings cannot say that. Um, it's polished aluminum and they they ring like a bell. I mean, linking ring, ring, let me show them to you. Look at this, aren't those beautiful? Not all that, but they're lightweight. That's what I like the most about them. Listen to that ring. That rings. And when you're working with them in your hand, listen to that ring. That's how linking ring should sound like, like a ring. So anyway, I do know sometimes they're hard to get unlinked. You got to find the soft spit in the middle. There you go. I do know that if you would like to get a set of the Proline rings, and also you need to watch a couple videos. One is linking rings. Uh, if you look for Di Vernon, he's on the Merv Griffin show, you can see parts of the routine he does that he created called Symphony of the Rings. Um, there's another video called Linking Rings, Proline versus Owens. Um, 
that is an excellent video to watch. And a lot of people prefer the Proline rings because they just have a, first of all, they're lightweight, they're not heavy, easy to do the moves, and they ring like a bell. I love it. Um, anyway, if you like to find Proline rings, oh, and also, if you want some good videos, be, I, I want to mention there are other people besides Divernon's routine. There are three ring routines, four ring. Uh, Doc Caden has a three ring routine. There's many people. With, uh, Richard Ross does a routine with linking rings. And I do know that uh, Stephen's Match Conform has some excellent video showing Richard Ross do the ring routines and all that. And some of the stuff he does is from the Di Vernon moves. Um, so go check out Stephen's Match Conform because they do have some excellent videos and all that about magic and, and all that other good stuff. So. Uh, also, if you want to find Proline rings, if you go to Proline-Magic.net. Uh, and also, you can find Proline Magic on Facebook also. Go get you some excellent rings. Buy the Proline rings. He's got many, many other great magic items to buy. Um, he's a great builder. And uh, I always trust Cliff Wiggs magic products because they always work. And not only that, but his rings ring like a bell. Hey, and before we let you go, we want to show you the video of my award winning <laughs> linking ring routine. Uh, I do it to music, and it's Die Vernon Symphony of the Rings. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Well, I think I told another little white lie. Well, sorry about that, Cliffy. I guess I'm getting good at telling lies. I'm unable to show you my YouTube videos because basically I don't know how to get my YouTube videos on my Windows Movie Maker. So there you go. If you'd like to watch the linking rings, go to Michael J. Kent. Search on YouTube for linking ring routine. If you put my name first, Michael J. Kent, you'll find my comedy clown car, my juggling act, uh, my grand finale. You'll find a lot of Michael J. Kent videos on there. So go watch the linking rings and let me know how, how you like them. And even though maybe I tell a little white lie now and then, sorry Cliffy, um, he doesn't lie. <laughs> Cliff never lies. He's got the best magic out there. And if you've ever had a Proline Vanishing Dove Cage, he makes the best. Um, Dan Sperry uses it. I mean, many people on YouTube and professional traveling magicians all over the world have bought the Proline Vanishing Dove Cage. Go check that out because it is the best on the market. Well, watch the videos. Tell me what you think. And then later, um, I guess that'll be it. <laughs> so go watch your videos. Well, there you go. <laughs> another, another linking ring routine. So anyway, we certainly hope you've enjoyed the show today. And we look forward to for you coming back on Kit Magic number 8. We don't know what it's going to be. It could be a punch puppet. I've got a cobweb machine to do. I've got to rebuild another Owen Illusion. we got a lot planned for Kit Magic Workshop. So be watching for number 8. Uh, Hopefully it won't be long. And thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday. And remember. I forgot. <laughs>